after 500 hours of Splatoon 3, I'm finally going to be playing the story mode. Despite this being the tutorial mode that pretty much everybody plays when they first start the game, I have not played this yet. And my main reason as to why is because of content. For Splatoon 1, I jumped into the story mode and that was my playthrough. And then Splatoon 2, I pretty much streamed all of the content that I played with the story mode and the DLC. But by Splatoon 3, I looked at my content and I realized everybody is rivaling to show the new content. So if I just put this out now, who knows if people are gonna be interested. So why don't I just wait and just do it when I'm ready to do it? At some point, 100 hours went by, 200 hours went by. At some point during that, I thought, hey, maybe I should do this, but maybe there's like a, a fun like title and thumbnail in here somewhere. I realized I was 70 hours away from 500 hours. I genuinely grinded in like a month to hit 70 more hours so the thumbnail could have this on it. For those who might think I'm crazy, I see hours in games as a badge of honor. Some may say it's a little silly. Some may say that I've put too much time into this game. Others may also say, hey, 500's not that big. And to be fair, this is the biggest game on my Switch and I play so many different games. So for this to be at 500 hours, that's actually pretty big for me. But anyway, though, guys, like I said, today we're going to be jumping into Splatoon 3 for the story mode. I'm finally going to get to see my girl Callie again. That was weird. <laughs> I thought she, I thought Olivia was just going to slip in and she just went, whoa. Sure, honey, sure. Oh my god, they destroyed Paris. I mean, this is post-apocalyptic, but I... I don't think it registered that Scourge Gorge was basically just like... A, a Paris wasteland. The... The... Octarians are coming! Again! Oh, ah, uh, hi. Did... Did... We do this once before? The old noggin ate what it used to be. Anywho, the name is Guttlefish, senior advisor to the new Splint Squid Beak Splatoon at your service. Not to be mean, but I'm I'm kind of surprised he's he's still he's still alive. I'm glad he's still alive. Like he's got he's got like a wine shirt on. He's he's still not in like having having a vacation or relaxing or anything. This poor guy. That look in her eye, it's the look I've been looking for. The great zapfish that powers Splatville has been squidnapped. Yeah, that, that's actually why I went to Inkopolis, because <laughs> they still have their squid. <laughs> it's the Octarians again. You, you, can be, you can bet your bottom sand dollar on it. To see the great zombie has gone missing before, twice in fact, and these octo jacks were behind it both times. I've been keeping an eye on them, even though I'm technically retired. And with my eyes like these, there ain't much that escapes me. But they still made off with the green zombie, and now we've got to get it back, right? So, uh, um, um, there's a job offer, kid. The the pay's zero. But you might just save the world. You're in, right? Right. Of course you are! Starting today, you are Agent 3 of the new Squid Beak Splatoon. Yeah, we're, we're just we're just gonna ignore the, re the rest of the Agent 3s, I guess. <laughs> it's unfortunate. 
Yo, yo, that jacket looks sick. I really hope that's something we can actually unlock because I would love to wear that in battle. This is your brand new hero suit. It'll help you fight the Octarians. Ah, uh, is there such a thing as something growing in the wash? It's a little baggy on you. Funny, I don't remember ever washing it, but uh, that last Agent 3 was clean as a catfish. All right. Oh, hello there. I didn't. Even, I didn't even get to read. We've got. We've got our little little buddy with our with his little Josh Jepsen hair. You've already got another agent there with you, huh? Well, I'm out of hero suits, unfortunately. Uh, but it's a salty little scamp, ain't it? It'll do fine. Oh, I really, I really wished you were gonna call him Agent Four, cause that would've been cute. Now, where was I? Oh, oh, right. Let's, uh, let's go back to these Akko jerks. I'm counting on you, bucko. Okay, that was, that was adorable. That was just adorable. Wait, he's... Oh my god, you can, you can call him to you! Oh, that's so cute. He's, he's your nice little pet. Oh, man. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Oh, it's all, like, gooey and fluffy. Oh! Eat you. Um, okay. I didn't know what to expect, but now, now I know. That's, it's been, it's been quite a while since, since I've seen the trailers, but I, I know that it, things get a little fuzzy. Get a little fuzzy and mammally. Whoa, what is that? Wait, I was gonna, I was gonna say, this is kind of like the Tears of the Kingdom corruption, and then there's like a Sheikah icon on the floor. Oh, now that is one big pile of fuzzy ooze. Good, we're making it worse. That big old bubble on the top is probably the fuzzball. I bet you could prop that. The whole thing would boof disappear. But I doubt your ink will do the trick. Uh, let's see about that later. For now, keep looking around the Octarian base. Oh! Oh, that's neat! What what the heck is that? Is that is that a is that a kettle? Level kettle? Yeah, it is a kettle! Oh, let's go! And it's not invisible either! Yo, we got Octarians in the crater, yikes! Hey, I'm I'm all for it. I am absolutely all for it. Okay, I'm really glad that my, my audio is working there, because I I realized that it might not be. Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on. All right, sorry about that. We are all good. Ooh, it's giving us splashdown. Wait, that's like regular splashdown. Oh my god, they have like both splashdown and triple splashdown in this game. That's wild. I know, I know this is just story mode, but I did not expect this to come back. Well, one thing is that this this is likely to be a tutorial. Well, no, because this is level one, so it it is still going to be a tutorial esque. I am curious what kind of different collectibles are going to be hidden around. So hopefully we find everything, because I do intend to 100% this mode, as I have at least 100%ed all the the story modes. Like I haven't I haven't 100%ed Octo Expansion yet though. So maybe, maybe at some point I'll, I'll go back to it. Yeah, popping those. We got, we got a switch over there too. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to be like super skeptical. Skeptical? <laughs> That's a new one. I've certainly never said skeptical before. But I'm going to be very skeptical about everything. Are you, are you a thing? Just gonna... Oh my god, we don't have a... Instead of having bombs, we just have little buddy that we throw. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my god, that's awesome. I did, I did not know this was a thing. Oh, this is, this is awesome. I probably would have played this a lot sooner if somebody was like, Oh yeah, L Little Buddy is an actual bomb you get in the game. 
Man, could you could you imagine if they actually added a kit and it's like your your little buddy actually was your sub weapon? Man, that that would be so cool. Or if or if that was like a challenge mode type thing too. There's so many there's so many interesting things they could definitely do with with like challenge mode because of that. Oh, there's our armor. How do we look with the armor? Oh, okay. We got some like orange roller skating type stuff. Hey, I'm I'm here for it. It's not it's not necessarily like the best. Oh, little buddy, no! <laughs> he just he just ran into the pit. He's just like, nah, I'm I'm out. I'm I'm done. I'm I'm good. <laughs> okay, there's. There's probably a secret that I'm going to miss, though. Because I know that in Splatoon 2, they, they added a second secret. Oh, there's our first Octarian. It's pretty pretty short level, but that's that makes sense. Yeah, they, they had a scroll and they had, like, a currency. So I'm curious if they're going to keep those or if they're going to, like, change things up with that. Oh my God. I gotta have little buddy just smack you. Yeah, good job, little buddy. And of course, I'm gonna give him all the credit. Oh, it's like some weird, like. Oh, it's like Mario Sunshine Inc. I'm here for it. Is there not? Okay, I must. I must have missed some secrets then. But hey, it's fine. Oh, little buddy just instantly breaks him too. Well, that's good to know. Oh, don't, don't try to eat him. Don't try to eat him, little buddy. That's not. <laughs> that's not good for you or the or the little guy. Well done, Agent Three. You remind me of a young cuttlefish heroically saving the day. Anyway, the good news is you got a zapfish. They're a source of energy of their own. But the better news is that the great zapfish may be up ahead. Nice. I I guess there's not a collectible on there. It's it's possible there it it is based on chaos, so they might not have one in every single level and we'll just we'll just see. Mmm. So we can we can throw little buddy at him. And he uh little buddy? Oh, what the heck? Oh, you power him up with power eggs? What? Well, that's new. I guess that makes sense cuz that they have to like grow up somehow. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so adorable. Okay, so we so we charge him up with these, and then we can just get rid of rid of these by doing that. Interesting. And that's probably how we get more levels. Okay, I actually really like that, because before there wasn't anything that these did. It was just a thing of like, oh hey, here's Here's these power eggs, and I I can't remember if Splatoon 2 you use them for upgrading or not. You you may have, but having them be for some other currency stuff is really nice. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go here. There's a lot of yellow ink here. Was maybe somebody else was here? Ooh, no, no, they did they did this in other games too. The difference is though that this is an actual level here. Instead of the tutorial thing. Oh, the, the reticle is nice, though. Yeah. Oh, I missed one! No! Oh, that's so upsetting. That would have been that would have been so nice if I got to if I got to keep that. Yeah, if you if you haven't seen my my content with Splatoon. One or Splatoon 2, I'm gonna constantly be looking for things. 
and just seeing like, oh, is there like a secret nook back here? Cause that's the thing. Like if you, if you've played those levels or that story mode, you'll know they go like absolutely nuts with some of the, their secrets. And you'll check everything, but you'll still miss things. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's some... Oh, I, mi I missed it, though. I was gonna say, there's some stuff down here. But it's just a different route. Okay, that's fine. How about under here? And secrets? Oh, just, just a little ink. Oh god, oh. The sunshine sodas just sloshing all over the place. Hey, I can. Yeah, yeah, my. Oh no, you hit little buddy! Oh, little buddy, no! I didn't even think about the fact that little buddy could probably, probably die. I'm almost curious if you can, like, hook him up with different explosion powers and stuff. That would be interesting if that if that's how it worked. Like this is the splat bomb little buddy, and then you make you make a version of little buddy where it's like, oh yeah, here's the here's the curling bomb little buddy from from there. But I guess not. That's fine. I'm not I'm not gonna go like fully back to grab everything. Whoa. Okay, Metal Harbor, calm down. God, I'm gonna be so annoying with this. <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, you know. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Whee! Oh, that's the zapfish, though. I didn't even find, like, a secret. Okay, I did not find any secret collectibles inside of that level either, so we're just gonna we're gonna complete it. We did get our first clear bonus though. If I had to guess, they'll probably eventually give us other weapons, and then we can unlock those weapons through through everything. But I've I have seen the hero shot around a lot, but that's all I've really seen. Uh, but those octo octarians look different. They used to be a little more Smooth, if memory serves. Hey, I ain't one to judge a deadly tentacle creature by its cover. More power to him, but, uh, not really. <laughs> Anyhow, as long as you're sporting the hero suit, you can stand up to any Actarian, bearded or not. Did you even read the label? Here. I'll do it for you. You're wearing the latest in apocalyptic survival fashion. Avoid enemies and navigate the splatlands in style. With your own high-end sensor. Dry clean only. <laughs> Amazing. You gotta learn everything about your gear. That's another battle-tested rule of the battlefield. I mean, that is true. Like, if you if you wash it and it's dry clean only, you, you do kind of have a problem. You're absolutely correct. Oh, I... There's something really satisfying about just destroying these, though. It's like, man, that's cool. Whoa, what is this? We got a decoration? You can pick it up at the lobby... Oh, it's probably for the locker. Yeah. That's cute, though. That's cute. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I was like, oh my god, you can decorate your lobby? And I was like, oh, it's the, it's the locker. I would not mind being able to, to decorate the, the lobby, though. That would be really cool. Maybe maybe we'll see more customization stuff like that in, uh, in later Splatoon stuff. I want to be the person that's already talking about Splatoon 4, but I will. <laughs> I will do it, I swear. Oh, that's such a satisfying effect, too. Just, like, shrivels up and just, like, poof. 
puff of smoke. Thanos smoke. Box is locked. Keys, please. All right, I think we'll do one more level and then we'll end the episode. Oh, I just realized when we come in here, we, we like shiver a little bit. Oh, we shiver. Hey, now we know why Shiver's been winning every single Splatfest. Because you literally go into every story mode and you shiver. That's that's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. It's funny though, because now my my playthrough is gonna have like a bunch of different jokes. Like I'm gonna joke about Team Family and be like, yeah, we won the the like water splatfest. That was that was a fun one. I'm so, I'm so glad I picked water for that. Because I considered choosing grass, since I've been using a lot of grass-type Pokemon lately. But I was like, no, overall, like, water is one of my favorite types of, of Pokemon moves. Other other than water, though, it would be... Can you get that? Can, can, can you? I'm going to try to... Yeah, but other than that, it would be fairy. Oh, that's so cool. He can hit the zip lines. Man, I I really want like a little buddy kit. Like that would be just so, so cool. I know they can't give it to the hero shop because it has to be the same as the splatter shop, but man, that, that would have been so cool, especially because you still customize them. I don't I don't know if they were they were worried about like this this being like a sub that would that would lag things out though. Cause it's like an extra character. Like it's fine that it that it's uh for this only. I just think that would be have been really cute. Oh, there's another key. Beautiful. Yeah, some somebody was really irresponsible in this level and just kept <laughs> dropping their keys getting replacements and then like a mile later just dropping him again. Okay, this is this is really cool though. How this is going. Oh yeah, and then you you unlock the middle one. Oh, there's another key. <laughs> wow, okay. That's three keys. What which one did we miss? Oh, I didn't even realize that was the end over there. This was the first place we went, but I'll I'll double check it anyway. Oh, there's something up there. Yeah. Yeah, there's another... There's another zipline. Oh, I, I absolutely missed that. How do, you, how do you get onto that, though? Oh, you know what? I have an idea. Go onto the one. Yeah, and then jump. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, man. I love that. Man, I, I would not mind having, like, a, a Splatoon 3 stage in multiplayer that's just, like, a bunch of these zip lines, and if you activate them, you can just, like, zip around all over the place. Alright, well, I did miss something, but that's okay. Because in the end, we did find it. I am noticing, like, it does always tell you the time, so there might be, like, time challenges at some point, too. Keep it up, Agent 3. You're making me proud. Now, I don't want to ruffle your tentacles any further than... They've already been a ruffled, but... Those fuzzy Octarians are freaking me out. I think we ought to consider calling you some backup. Why just fire up the old communicator? Check, check. This is Guttlefish Over, do you copy? Agent you here over Wait, Gramps, is that you? Where are you? Agent one, this is Agent Two. Gramps has wandered off again. Over. Well, what are we what are we waiting for, Agent Two? Let's go collect him. Roger that. Stay fresh. Hmm? Did, did they just hang up on me? Agents these days, am I right? So impatient. Dang, now this old thing is busted. Oh well. 
Come on, let's go. That it? Cuttlefish, that's happened like three times and you still haven't recognized that that, that is like somebody else on the line being like, eh. Oh my god. Sorry, I, I just saw a little buddy just dead eye sleeping over here. <laughs> oh my god, this thing. I did not think they would be able to like make me love a small fry with the amount of the amount of salmon run that I've played, but honest to God, they've done it. They have genuinely done it. Oh my God. Anyway though guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button, share us out with our gnome love, brother, mother, sister, father, iguana, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it toast safe. Thank you for watching my video, guys. If you look over to the left, you can see a playlist of one of my many playthroughs on the channel, as well as a fun video up above it. And if you look over to the right, you can subscribe to the channel, as well as see another video, either from my channel or one of my friends' channels. Either way, it's sure to be a fun time. Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Keep your toes safe.